Wow. Wow. So that woman, she has exhibited enough sadistic behavior, psychologically sadistic behavior. And she is putting this book out where clearly she's going to bash him in some in a number of ways and it's going to and the PR is going to be terrible for for them. For him particularly, there's no benefit, y'all. That's the thing that is so jaw-dropping. There is no benefit to the course of action that she is taking. What is so jaw-dropping about this, too, is that it, it, it seems to me, by all appearances, that she is consciously or unconsciously trying to destroy his career and his reputation. You know... It's nice to know that there is something that can unite us all because there's so much division right now and it's it's almost impossible to find a topic that we can all get unified on here, that can unify all of us. But I swear to God, a loathing for Jada Pinkett Smith seems to be the, the one thing that unifies us all. <laughs> uh, Jada Pinkett, she did something the other day that I thought was like jaw-dropping. And, and if we're talking about narcissism, to me, this was a whole other level of narcissism. Did you see this where she did an interview? It was not, it wasn't the, uh, the sit down face to face interview on camera that she did. Okay. But after that, like a day or two later, she did an interview with another news outlet and she was and she was addressing this the idea of whether or not they would end up getting back together or they would get a divorce and she said literally she said that will is getting old so she may have to move in with him because he's getting old and then after she said that and then she says about herself now me of course i'm very young Etc. 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 But Will will need me. So this woman, I just could not believe this. I don't know. Am I overreacting, or did this strike you all as being crazy? This woman was saying to an international audience and to all of the fans, their their fans, whatever fans they have, that Will Smith is getting old, and. That is just not something that, first of all, anyone wants to hear anyone saying about them. Like, no, there's just, I don't know anybody who would be pleased at someone publicly drawing attention to their age in a, in a derogatory way. Like, she wasn't saying, oh, he, you know, as uh, with aging comes all of his wisdom and Will has a lot of perspective on the world. No, she said, I'm going to, may have to take care of, I may have to move in with this guy and take care of him because he's getting old. And you know what's funny is that when I heard, when she when I read that it made me think, wow, Will Smith must be a lot older than I thought because he sure doesn't cuz I had this image in my mind the way that she said it or in the way or the way it was printed of like this man who is in a in a nearly debilitated state and just uh, just around the corner before you know it uh, because he's already he's already slowing down so much Jade is going to have to move in with this guy and take care of him in his old age I'm just like so I'm thinking I was like May, is Will in his uh, uh, like to me that's something you say about someone in, unless they have health issues you say about someone when they're like I don't know at some point in their 70s or 80s like <laughs> So I, I had to look it up because I wanted to know how old is this fucking man because his, his wife or whatever she is is acting like he is in such a decrepit state that she's going to have to move in with him soon, take care of him. So I looked it up and he's 55, so no, not old. And so she, she says this thing that's just horrible and totally unnecessary and then she follows it up with making a direct comparison to herself. <laughs> and the fact that I'm really quite young still. Well, so I thought, okay, she must be at least 10 years younger than him to be talking that way. I looked it up. She's 52 years old. <laughs> so unless, Jada, you're going to tell me that there is such a gigantic biological chasm in terms of longevity between 52 and 55, I would say that you and Will are both the same age. I mean, my God. Wow. Wow. So that woman, there is definitely, Will Smith may have his problems, but there she has exhibited enough sadistic behavior, psychologically sadistic behavior, for me to say that there is something very wrong with her and, and wrong with their relationship. And, and then, y'all, then, 
Then I saw in the New York Times that Will Smith had written an email. I know most of you probably seen this. That Will Smith had written an email to the New York Times and had told them that reading Jada's book, and I'm paraphrasing now because I don't remember exactly what he said, but basically that reading Jada's book had sort of opened up more compassion within him for what she's gone through and how and how strong and resilient she's been to get through it and I just my jaw dropped because I'm thinking my god this woman has put this guy through the ringer in so many ways and then she is putting this book out where clearly she's going to bash him in some in a number of ways and it's gonna and the PR is gonna be terrible for for them for him particularly because it makes him look like that something sort of like that C word. I'm not going to use it, but you know, wimpy guys who put up with women, they're women walking all over them in a way. It just makes them look so bad. There's no benefit, y'all. That's the thing that is so jaw-dropping. There is no benefit to the course of action that she is taking. There's Financially, they have a ton of money, and I know things are relative or whatever, but just they have a ton of money and Will Smith did have an extremely successful career before Jada tried to derail it. I mean, that is what is so jaw-dropping about this, too, is that it, it, it seems to me, by all appearances, that she is consciously or unconsciously trying to destroy his career and his reputation. And then, and so, she, and, and for what? For, a, for more sort of tabloid-esque attention? for maybe another, I don't know, million viewers at Red Table Talk.